Welcome to my mage starter build, you spontaneously combusting bastards. This build focuses obviously on signs, and in this video I'll show you one of the best setups for early game, that is for about level 11, 12 and somewhere in that range. Build works on every difficulty and everything that you see has been recorded on Death March. Starts at level 12 looks something like this. Sign intensity and stamina regeneration are most important categories for this build. We mostly use signs and then finish off enemies, but we also need some kind of DPS output from swords because we cannot use signs all the bloody time and damage from the signs won't be enough in certain situations. Any kind of sword that has critical hit damage bonus, critical hit chance and more importantly boosts sign intensity is a good choice. Armor setup is 3 times griffin armor piece and 1 assassin gauntlets. 3 pieces of griffin armor which are medium armor will increase sign intensity by 15% and also increase resistance to damage from monsters by 24% which is really significant. I went with assassin gloves instead of griffin gloves because they grant 10% critical hit chance and at this point in game this is really a nice boost to overall DPS output from swords. As for potions and decoctions use whatever you like. You don't need Towny Owl because you have enough stamina region with this setup. As for decoctions, I'm using Fork Tail decoction that does what it says it does. It can be a bit gimmicky to explain how it works, but basically by combining different types of attacks we get bonuses to attack power and sign intensity for the next strike. My skill setup at level 12 is 3 blue skills and 4 general ones. As for blue skills you can use here whatever you wish and whatever suits your playstyle better, as long as you have at least 3 of them. By using 2 greater blue mutagens with 3 blue skills we get sign intensity bonus plus 50% which is quite good. Blue skills that I have chosen are art sweep, very nice alternative casting mode for art that does AoE around you that knocks back enemies. With such high sign intensity they will get put on their R's and you can just finish them off with single press of a button. Next one is also very optional, it's delusion for Axi sign. It's useful in dialogues and it is really good in fights because enemies will not move towards you, meaning they will not interrupt as you are casting this sign towards them. I could have went with Puppet Master here, but honestly at this point in game Puppet Master is just not good. Then we have Active Shield upgrade for Quen, amazing upgrade that replenishes our vitality upon getting hit when Quen is active, one of the best sign upgrades in the game. Then we have Gourmet, general skill, this is gonna be in my every build most likely because it's goddamn awesome, especially in higher difficulties. Adrenaline Burst increases adrenaline generation and using signs also generates adrenaline points. Usually this wouldn't be that useful, but it is in this particular build because next to Adrenaline Burst we are using Rage Management, which lets us use adrenaline points to cast signs if our current stamina is too low. Last passive that I'm using here is called Griffin School Techniques. With current setup of 3 medium armor pieces we get 15% increased sign intensity and 15% increased stamina region. Which signs you want to use for this build is completely up to you. It's your playstyle here because there are 5 different signs and every single one of them has their use. 
I like Igni, Ard and Quen signs and usually combine those three to maximum effect. Axie is also very useful to stun one particular opponent and they will with this build be stunned for quite a while. Next to that Axie is very useful against all ghouls because when used on them they retract spikes so you can strike them normally. Yirden sign I mostly use against raids because well it's a necessity against them. As I said every sign has its function and with this build every sign will be good. So go out there and have fun playing this build on any difficulty. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more builds.